So late last night, I had the privilege of seeing Hollywood's newest monster movie, Godzilla, and all I can say is that I have very, very mixed emotions regarding this film for my review. Uh, I'm not sure where to where I stand. Like, I liked it, but at the same time, I didn't like it, and this is my review of Godzilla. So the first 30 to 40 minutes, I think, were the best part of the movie, with the exception of the last 15 minutes of the film. The film runs two hours and five minutes. Um, it seemed like a pretty long movie, and I think it could have been a lot shorter, actually, and it would have been a lot more enjoyable for me, because there are parts in this film that I just didn't care about. Because let's be honest, you and me wanted to see Godzilla fight monsters. We wanted to see monsters battle it out and fuck each other up, throw each other around, destroy buildings, and have chaos. That's what I wanted to see. That's what I intent was hoping to see in this film, Godzilla. And sad to say, although it's this film really keeps... It reminds me a lot of the 1954 original, um, but the problem with this film is that it jumps around way too much. And what I mean by this is that the first 40 minutes were phenomenal. I mean, they were emotional. The, the raw emotion that Brian Cranston portrays with losing his wife and what motivates him to find out what is causing these tremors or these electrical surges is really awesome. I just love Brian Cranston's performance, although I could I always thought of him as Heisenberg every time I saw him. But nonetheless, his performance was excellent. My biggest criticism of the film Godzilla, though, was the lack of actual monsters that were fighting. The lack of actually about Godzilla itself. And this is something that a lot of movies have, have struggled with. Transformers, Transformers 2, Transformers 3, and let's not hope Transformers 4, is that these movies, these Hollywood movies that come out, you know, try to retelling a story of some sort, usually always focus on the goddamn fucking humans. I'm sorry. Godzilla, I like the first 40 minutes. I like the last 15 minutes. But everything else between that, I didn't give a shit about. I didn't give a shit about the characters. There was this stupid, cliche, uh, little romance love story in the middle of Godzilla that I didn't give a fuck about. Like, I don't care. I'm here to see Godzilla, not a guy and a wife and a little boy struggle through missing one another and trying to find each other while all this destruction is happening. Another thing that I really just did not like about Godzilla was the fact that we see a lot of clips of Godzilla um, about middle of the film and he's fighting this big monster, right? And you see Godzilla like lunge at this, the monster at about the fight and then it cuts back to the human story. And it did this, and I counted how many times, it did this five different times where you see Godzilla from a brief second about, you know, attack or whatever, the other creature, and then it cuts out and goes back to the human story. And I'm sitting there like, what the fuck? You're taking away from battle scenes, you're taking away from us seeing Godzilla in his prime beat the living fuck out of these other creatures. And it was just, it, it did that five different times, and I was, I was like, this, why, why are they doing this? Why are you focusing on the human story rather than what's actually happening and showing more of the monsters fighting, battling more destruction? And to be honest, I didn't really care for Aaron Taylor Johnson's acting performance in this film. I've seen him act in quite a few other films that were phenomenal, but this, I don't know what it was. He just felt stiff and flat. His character was nothing compared to Bryan Cranston within the first 30 to 40 minutes. Another thing that I didn't like about the film Godzilla was the lack of actually Godzilla in it. Sad to say, if you're going to see this movie simply because you want to see Godzilla for the duration of the two hours, you're going to see him maybe for about a minute and a half, two minutes in the first part of the movie, and then for the most part you don't see him hardly at all. You see a few clips of him, you know, there and there, and then all of a sudden, like, the last, literally the last... 10 to 12 minutes is of Godzilla. Yes. The last 10 to 12 minutes, uh, 12 to 15 minutes is simply Godzilla. And that's all you really see of him. And you know, it, it, it ends awesome. The fight scene at the end of the movie was awesome. Overall, when I walked out of the movie theater, I said, this movie could have, one, been a lot shorter, take out a lot of the, the stupid cliche love shit, and please, for the love of God, focus on the monster battles. I mean, Pacific Rim did exactly that. This film felt like Pacific Rim in very small sections, but ultimately it left me unsatisfied, and although it did spark a little bit of my kid imagination, you know, of seeing Godzilla 2000, I will take Godzilla 2000 over this new Godzilla film any day. So let me summarize the film for you. If you want to go see Godzilla, and you want to see roughly 15% of Godzilla throughout a two-hour movie, by all means, go see it. You'll be satisfied.
But if you're going to see this movie because you expect giant monster battles, you'll probably be very disappointed.